hey guys welcome to my channel so in this video i will show you a bunch of things but first of all i want to tell you that recently i was learning tibetan language and i have been pretty successful in doing it so i'm able to read tibetan now and i'm able to understand like basics of like i can have like a like basic understanding this is good for me i'm progressing now you might be wondering like why i'm you know reading and studying tibetan i i use chat gpt by the way uh, to learn it and it turns out i'm always telling you like since chat gpt my learning have become so good i am able to learn things like twice as, as fast so it's a good thing it is also a bad thing because chat gpt is proprietary and it can shut down or you know paywall anytime i won't pay them but okay so i was getting into like reading a lot of buddhist philosophy because it turned out that you know i was feeling good so then after reading so much i realized that if I read Tibetan if I learn how to read or and understand Tibetan language which kind of look like this um, okay like this all right if I you know read and study this and maybe someday if I'm able to you know 100% not 100% but able to understand it you know if I successful if I get successful maybe someday I might get a Tibetan philosophical book which maybe contain something which is like sense which makes sense and maybe that book have no english translation and maybe if all of this become right and i end up reading that book and i ended up applying that philosophical concept in my life i will get something out of it so yeah there are chances that this is not a waste of time guys i'm literally spending all night here you know trying to read this i can read this by the way I mean, yes, I can. Okay. Do, na, a, ba, a, ba. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't really have to read all of it, but I can. All right. I know a lot of words. So, for example, I was using Chat GPT. So, I can say like basic stuff like good night. I can read it. Now, you might be wondering why I am why i am learning how to read because in the end i have to read and i feel that once you learn how to read uh then you can read some books and use some dictionary and you know you can just basically uh like it's a better way of learning any language like i always say that first learn how to read the language like the characters or syllables or okay i say characters because i'm a programmer but it's alphabet okay all right so now the thing is that I found this website. Now Tibetan is a dead language, by the way. If you are going to spend your time learning Tibetan, well, uh, there is nothing much you know you can get out of it. Most people these days they don't uh, learn languages like Tibetan. They mostly you know go for Spanish, French, or Western languages. But okay, whatever. So uh, now some of you might suggest me to you know read Sanskrit. I have done it since childhood i am an indian all right so i studied in r r highly you know the schools which teach sanskrit or stuff so now let me talk about linux stuff so i found this website which is pretty cool and it, this is this might be the only dictionary uh you know which is like not bloat and i don't know like it, this is the only dictionary which i liked and i can work with so okay let's let's learn something okay uh, for me ba Okay, this is bar and this is okay. Fuck, one second. I am still stuck at some words. Okay, uh, this is no. Oh, ng. Okay, ng. So, bagula. So bagul. So bagul is money in Tibetan. See, I learned something. So now I want to turn it into a nice app. Okay. So there is a program Nativire in Arch Linux. I haven't used it, but I know it exists. So let's just install it. It's Node.js Nativire. I don't know, but if you go to AUR and if you search like Nativire, there are okay. What is the program name? Nativire. Nativire. Okay. Nati Native Fear. All right. So even though I cannot pronounce English right now, I am still learning Tibetan. Okay, so there are so many applications. See WhatsApp Notifier, Node.js Notifier. I mean, there's like you can almost find any popular app, and there is a Notifier in AUR, Netflix Notifier. All right, so you don't really have to install any of these like Google Meet Notifier, Gmail. But 
look at the power of AUR. Like this is why I like Arch and you know all this stuff because whatever. So I think Node.js Netlify is the main package which I have to install the command line tool to easily create text. Yeah, this is the one. So let's just install it. Paru minus s Node.js Netty. I think it's copied. Okay. So after installing this, let's just. So I use Paru, which is Rust based uh, AUR package manager. Previously, I was using this, um, okay, I forgot the name, BAP, B A P H, which was just a bash script and it was working perfectly. But for some reason, it stopped working uh, because of the updates and it was not getting updated. So I ended up using Paru, but I still feel that I should just you know, clone the AUR repo and just run the commands. But again, who cares, all right? So, I mean, look at how much bloat I have, like pacman qv uh, wc minus l. All right, so, you know, I can tell each, like what each package is doing in my computer. So for some reason I had to install Docker. So there are a lot of junk packages which I have to uninstall. So usually when I read about Tibetan, I have one window like this open all the time with less, okay? And yeah, and then I read something. All right, native fear, uh, native fear is installed. Native, fear, I'm not sure. Native fear, yeah. So how to use this thing? Now even I don't know. I might open this YouTube video in this video and show you but that would be not so nice because I'm teaching you. I mean, I'm, okay, so this is the target URL. Output directory, other options. Is there any other options I have to give? Icon, I don't care, I am using DWM. Uh, no, okay, native fear. And the URL of the dictionary is this one. All right. And the directory name, uh, Tibet Dick, uh, not Tibet Dick, uh, dictionary, dict, okay, Tibet Dict. All right, so this will create my new, new app. Now, by the way, uh, this uh, dictionary is so nice. Like if you go to the homepage or if you just search like a uh, uh, app Tibetan dictionary on Google, then there is an app which I installed and that app is actually just this website's web app. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is, this is the app which I installed and it is just the web app of this app, like this website. So. I'm actually just doing what they did in the Android app. So it's completed. Let's just go there. So this is the button and let's just open it. Oh, sorry for blinding your eyes, but there. look at this. This is so, okay. So how do I make it dark? First of all, is there any way? I think this is the way save. Yeah, now this is perfect. All right. So this is something which is really like small, but I needed it. So now I will have this dictionary always open while learning Tibetan. Now the problem with learning Tibetan is that um, Tibetan, like I don't know anyone who can tell me how to pronounce it and Google Translate do not work. So it's so sad that even a person like me who is so lazy decided to learn something, but when he wants to learn, there is no resource available like Word, do not want me to learn the things which I'm actually interested in learning. Just like, you know, like, like the philosophies which got banned on Reddit. So everything I find interested is like, okay, everything I want to do is illegal or something. Okay, so that's it. That was my video. Thanks for watching. Let's just... Today's your lucky day. So let's hear it. Uh! You have the hands of a healer. Ooh!